Hello guys and welcome back again to another episode of SSS Serious, Serious Sensible Side. So today, pag-uusapan nga natin, okay? things I learned working abroad. So, may mga bagay lang tayong mga lesson na pwede natin i-tackle. And number one, there are always challenges. So, sa mga tao dyan sa Pilipinas, kung iniisip nyo na madali lang talaga ang mag-abroad and there's no thing changes or challenges that, you know, na makakasal- makakasalubong mo or may encounter mo working abroad, meron po. First mm-hmm. is yung trabaho. So, dito, <laughs> madalas ako in my experience, talaga multitasking. Mm-hmm. First, my first two years, I thought that I am only like you know selling selling clothes, selling products, and then afterwards I need to do this, do that, and there's so many things. It's a it's a learning process as well. Pero sobrang dif- laki ng difference niya. Ano ba yung mga challenges mo sa work? Madame, aside from doing a multitask, there's a language barrier. Mm-hmm. Tapos yung gap ng, ano, ng culture, ethnicity, yes, yes. especially behaviors. Yes. So, kung sa Pilipinas hindi tayo saday ng sinisigawan tayo, <laughs> well, people from, people from uh, outside our country, not only in Oman, mm. in other countries as well, mm. they talk like loud. Mm-hmm. <laughs> akala mo sinisigawan ka na, akala mo minamandohan ka na, mm-hmm. but that's their normal voice. Uh-huh. So, yun, yung madalas, mahirap din intindihin yung iba kasi yung diction, yung intonation. Yes. Sobrang difference. Akala mo, ang sinasabi nila is joining, pero zoning pala yun. <laughs> so, yun, dun lang madalas mag a ka. Ikaw, ano yung mga sa work? So, yeah, sa Challenges sa work, probably the first thing is yung ano to, culture shock. So, Kasi unang-una, wala tayo sa Philippines. I think one misconception that we normally have as mm-hmm. Filipinos is that when we join a workforce, we are expecting them to be just like us, just yes. like how we work. That's not true when it comes to working abroad. Kasi working abroad means you are going to experience working with different mm-hmm. cultures from different nationalities. Yes, so sometimes, minsan naiisip ko, it is my fault, I admit, na sometimes I expect them to work just like like how I work. Mm. So you ma iniisip ko minsan na you're supposed to know this and then they don't know it. And then also what I consider common for me may not be common to them. So I I think what matters here when it comes to facing these challenges is to set your expectations, manage your expectations because not everybody is going to work like you and your work is not going to be the standard of other people's work. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't mean uh, if something is not common to them, which is you think is common, it doesn't mean that you're yung tama. Maybe because sometimes may mga bagay din naman na common sa kanila na hindi naman common sa atin Mm -hmm. na tayo yung nag adjust So, when it comes to work challenges, I believe the key here is to adjust. Sino ba yung mag adjust Yes, kailangan. So, kailangan kailangan may, talaga. Mag-a-adjust ka kailangan talaga mag-a-adjust. sa work. So, I feel like there is always a challenge. Tama ka. When oh. you said na people sometimes in the Philippines, people in the Philippines would think na our life here is perfect, that our life is easy, beautiful, easy and yeah, all. Readable. Yes. I would post photos of myself in the office like mm. I'm not doing anything and all. But yes. that's not the truth. We are also facing challenges. Yes, alam mo yung na homesick na tapos yes. pagdating mo pa ng trabaho. Oh my god, yes, it's so yes. alienating. Yeah, parang yeah. parang sobrang nasan nasan ba? Ako? <laughs> And also with the work, no, it's difficult to find people who would be able to relate to you kasi nga iba, ibang lahi kayo. Yes. And sometimes kapag mayo na mga kapa mo kalahi, may ibang circle naman din sila na ginagalawan. Oh. Probably you guys are different because of generation mm. gap, probably because of the seniority level and yes, all. Yes, lalo na yung mga nauna. Yung kasi mga nauna. Kasi nakapag-adjust na sila. Nakapag-adjust na sila ka. while you're adjusting. Yes. So, you would look at them like, oh, how are they doing so well? And then, I'm still stuck mm-hmm. here. It's because the process is taking time sometimes. May sa- mga ganun oh, talaga. Saka madalas yung mga kabayan natin, in my experience also, uh-huh. 
experience ko ulit. <laughs> Kasi pag gising ko, bakit ganito to? Oh, si Kabayan, bakit ganito si Kabayan? Yung pala, na-adapt na nila yung behavior yes. nung... Yes. Or nakapag-adjust na sila dun sa talagang sistema. What do you mean? Sistema. What were you expecting ba? Nung puma- halimbawa, nag-join ka sa work mo. What were you expecting? Were you expecting them to be warm and welcome you with open arms? Warm like naman that? sila. Welcoming Mm-mm. naman sila. Pero... Mm-hmm. Sila kasi pag nasa trabaho, trabaho, trabaho talaga. Yeah, focused, yes. right? Eh, uso sa atin sa Pilipinas, maritisan muna tayo. <laughs> Pero when I, when I finally adjust, mm-hmm. na, na gawa ko na, ah, ganito pala talaga. So, mm-hmm. sa una, ganun naman, kada mm-hmm. sa, sa, sa simula, meron talagang adjustment. Mm-hmm. Not only working abroad, anywhere. Mm-hmm. And then... Siyempre, may ragpapasok din dyan yung friendship dramas. Yes, of course. <laughs> But we have to take note that making friends here abroad is not as easy as when we are in the Philippines, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, especially sa mga kabayan yes. natin. <laughs> Kasi medyo ano sila, parang meron silang wall. Alam sometimes, yes. Kasi, sometimes you would feel that. Lalo na kapag ikaw yung baguhan. Yeah. So you were like a new person coming in, joining the company, and then you don't know who to talk to and which group you're going to join. Ang swerte ko lang kasi nung bago ako noon, mm-hmm. madali din ako nakapag-adjust. Parang mga two weeks, three weeks, ah, I wanna go oh, back fine. to my country. Pero nung nak- nakilala ko yung iba nating kabayan, mm-hmm. so sila yung mga Nag-motivate. bagong friends ko na ah. parang nakilala ko sila Ate May, sila Ate mm-hmm. Arlene, mm-hmm. sila Jomar, sila Melvin. So mag- maganda yung naging adjustment kasi mm-hmm. sobrang welcoming sila. sa so, ad- talagang alalayan ka nila. Is it true what they say na mas okay daw na yung mga katrabaho mo ay hindi mo friends? Mukhang mas okay na yung work mo ay work lang. Outside that, you should have a circle of friends. It's an advantage in some way. Paano? Kasi, kagaya nung experience ko na kasama ko na siya sa trabaho, friend ko pa siya, kasama ko pa siya sa bahay. Yes. So, wala na kami ibang pinag-usapan. <laughs> kundi trabaho, yeah. trabaho, trabaho, trabaho. That's what they say. Yes. Parang it's not Yun lang naman yung nakikita ko na Mm-mm. saka meron pang isa, yung alam mo yung off ka. Yes. Tapos dahil katrabaho mo, kasama mo sa bahay, friend mo pa, Mm-mm. uy, baka pwede mo naman pasuyo yung ano. Yeah. Uh-huh. Pwede mo naman pasuyo yung ganito. <laughs> yes, so, yes. tungkol ba din sa trabaho? Yes, yes. So, may mga added responsibilities mm-hmm. na dapat wala na. Yes. Di ba? So, I think I agree. I agree with that. Mm-hmm. Kasi, for me, yung mga friendship dramas, dapat talaga, outside work, you have another life. Yes. Kasi, if you are still going to, I mean, there's nothing wrong being friends with people at work. Mm-hmm. But also, I'm saying, there should be another set of friends outside work. Kasi, Parang may iba naman, may iba yung, naman yung topic ano, na pinag-uusapan yes, natin. Oh, Kasi, you're going to be overwhelmed. Like, say, for example, I get to do this with you. <laughs> so, kapag weekend, I get to talk about things outside the academy things outside education mm. because from for the whole week that that's what i do yeah that's the only I, thing I you talk, talk about, about education <laughs> i talk about courses i talk about acad- uh, academics mm. and so right uh, after one whole week i would love to have a different topic i would love to see different people so pa siyang unwinding na din same diba? thing to me parang ako naman ang gusto ko makakilala ng mga tao na you know you more more on talking about how 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 these things happen yeah. paano ba tayo magiging financially educated <laughs> right. yung mga trip ko this time okay. tapos okay what the book that you have been reading this yes. past few weeks uh-huh. something like this yes. tapos ang madadagdag ko lang sa friends drama mag maghanap kayo na makipagkaibigan kayo sa ibang lahi kasi sobrang yes, laki ng advantage like yeah. for example sa situation ko ngayon mm-hmm. meron akong kaibigan na ibang lahi mm-hmm. na nagpapahiram sa akin ng car Yes. So, they're very welcoming. Yes. So, hindi, hindi ko kailangan bumili ng car kasi may yes. nahihiram akong sasakyan. Yes. And then, wala naman siyang hinihinging kapalit. It's just that the friendship. Parang yes, ganun yes. lang. But I wanna bring up something to you na alam kong pinagdadaanan mo ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> Yung challenge ng relocation sa work. Okay. Yes. Kasi this is so recent and we just talked about it a while ago. So, let me t- ask you about your challenges sa relocation. Ang challenges ko talaga, every time na malilipat ako, parang bumabalik ako rin sa first week, first month ko yeah. nang dumating ako ng Oman. So, mm-hmm. you need to adjust again kasi bagong environment, new people again. Yes. Those same Indians, Pakistan, Nepali, Bangladesh, and Omani. Yes. 
Diversity is there Pero mm. yung adjustment Kasi bago na naman sila Sa yes. paningin mo Bago na naman sila Sa circle mo So you need to adjust Ano ba tong tao na to Ano bang ba i-adjust ko sa kanya Oh yes. ito pala si Goto So kailangan <laughs> Ano tayo Bingibingihan <laughs> Bingibingihan yeah. po, po konti-konti Parang ganun So ang dami Bahay mm. Yung gamit Ang hirap maglipad ah. Especially yes. me From Muscat Parang asay ba to To Gubra Gubra to Mabela Mabela mm. to Barca And now mas malayo na siya it's like 3 uh, hours away from Muscat so mas transfer na ako ng Suha so shout out to Doc <laughs> Jules and Doc Ken please welcome me <laughs> but don't you find it exciting meeting new people having a new it is it is exciting in, in, in some way pero mm. nakakapagod na maglipat kasi yes. yearly ako nalilipat eh. yearly yung relocation yes, yearly uh-huh. parang matagal ko lang nung last uh, pandemic so mm. walang nililipat na masyado kasi pandemic time it's the nature of your job na talagang it's may relocation nature. Yes. And yearly talaga yun Kasama siya sa Actually kasama siya sa contract Every okay. one year to two years You need to be relocated mm-hmm. But hindi naman lahat Nare-relocate mm-hmm. There's some instances lang Na kailangan mong mag-adjust mm-hmm. At kailangan mong pakasamaan yung company Dahil It's it's part it's a business requirement. Mm-hmm. That's what they're saying. If you guys are planning to work abroad, do not expect that everything is going to be perfect. May mga adjustment and also may mga challenges about knowing us Filipinos, madali sa ating mag-adjust mm-hmm. and magaling naman tayong makisama. Yes. So let's That's use our one. personality to get to know people, to get to know the culture mm-hmm. and also let's be open-minded that um, there are other nationalities who are going to work with us mm-hmm. and we should be able to embrace them kasi mm-hmm. sila they will also embrace us yes final take ko dito is learn to adapt lang Mm-mm. learn to adapt lang learn to adjust yes ay, 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 kagaya ng sinasabi ko lagi tayo mga Pilipino mataas ang humility natin eh. yeah right. sobrang taas ng humility yes. at understanding Mm-mm. and aside from that we're resilient yes we can easily adjust yes in, in anywhere in any mm-hmm. in anything anywhere anything anytime yeah. so lesson number two You are stronger than what you think. Mm-hmm. Ito talaga, medyo, ano ito yun, hate hard ako na ito eh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. May mga bagay talaga tayo na iniisip na parang akala natin hindi natin kaya or hindi tayo pwedeng maging ganun. Pero working abroad will help you grow inner strength. So, kagaya, kagaya nung nasabi ko before na makukulture shock ka pag bago ka, tapos hindi mo alam na kaya mo pala. Yes. Ah. Nung, nung, first, uh, nung first time na nag-abroad ako, first, first time ko naman, first time ko naman <laughs> talaga know, right? diba? yes. So, first time. Uh, akala ko before na hindi ako tatagal. Mm-hmm. First two weeks, ah, I wanna go back to my country. It's really cool, cultural shock to yes. me. I, I don't understand why people dress the way they do. Yes. Why, why they talk that way. Yes. It, it's like they're shouting on me. It's okay. like, oh, parang minumura na ako nito. Hindi ko maintindihan. <laughs> Alam mo yung adjustment. Yes. And then suddenly you'll realize that nagkaroon ng opportunity to learn something new like especially language, culture, behavior. Mm-hmm. Akala ko before hindi ko kakayanin pero you know, they pass by parang oh, kaya ko pala. Yes. Tas yung yung feeling ng mag-isa, yan yung iyan yes. ang pinaka 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 sure. pinaka mahirap, yes. yes. Especially when you go when you go back to your accommodation. It's good thing na may ka-roommate ako before. Mm-hmm. Pero after two years, mas okay na ako na mag-isa na lang. <laughs> <laughs> Alam mo yun? <laughs> Kasi walang, walang gumagay <laughs> niya sa, oh, yes. sa table. Walang, uh-huh. walang nagsasara ng pinto. Walang nagpo-flash ng, uh, <laughs> ng toilet. So, hindi ka magigisa. Hindi ka... Yes. So, yun lang yung talagang adjustment. Ang hirap mm-hmm. ng malayo sa mga kaibigan, mm-hmm. pamilya. Did you ever think na mahina ka? Na these things will make you go home? Um, yung homesickness, mm, being alone. Yes. I felt that like mm. one month. Mm-hmm. After one month, I realized, ay, sa Pilipinas, mag-isa lang din naman ako doon. Uh, <laughs> so, so, what's the difference? Uh, yes. Yeah, so, so, dito lang, nanibago lang ako. Kasi, mm-hmm. hindi ko tinatanggap at hindi ko ina-accept yung other culture. Mm-hmm. Parang ayoko nung the way they live their life. Mm-hmm. Kasi, hindi ko pa siya naiintindihan before. Especially mm-hmm. food. Yun talagang mahirap din eh. Yung food, yung culture. Yes. So, yun. Tapos, mag-isa ka pa. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> ikaw, ikaw naman, anong sayo? <laughs> as an as an this is not my first time. Yes. As you know, galing as an Saudi, Saudi diba? galing na ako mm. ng Saudi. But I would like to go back to the first time I worked abroad sa Saudi Arabia. When my friends learned about me going to Saudi Arabia, alam mo ba ang sabi nila? Mm. Nako, ma-rape ka doon. 
and I had the same fear. Na sabi ko baka totoo yeah. kasi it's normal. Kasi Filipinos can sometimes be tactless. I mean san tactless sabi lang sabi nila. Like when you're in the middle of working on your papers and almost there na and you're you, are, you have already built your dreams around it. Na uy, I'm gonna be okay. My life is going to be better kapag mm-hmm. nagwork ako abroad. And then you're going to have these people telling you mawawib ka doon. Uh, Had I listened to that, I wouldn't have enjoyed the things that I enjoy right now. Kung nakinig ako doon, baka wala ako sa kinalalagyan yes. ko ngayon. Kasi that was my Anong fear. Anong ka ng tao? Oo, oh, kasi number one, that innocent statement, kasi mm. sila, mga hindi naman sila nakarating ng Saudi, that innocent statement is number one, nakakasira sa reputation ng bansa na pupuntahan mo. Yes. Because it's as for me, it's stereotype, yes. diba? I've been to Saudi Arabia and it's so not true. That mm. is not true and that is so below the, uh, you know, below the belt. Mm. Yung ganon. So, for you guys, hindi naman po ganon sa Saudi Arabia. <laughs> yes. Wala pong ganon. Sa mga for my that, experience. Yeah. So, kung nagpadala ako sa takot ko na baka Ma, ba, baka ma, magahasa lang ako doon hmm. wala ako sa akin nalalagyan yes, ko ngayon. Ka ngayon dito. so hmm. I realize really I am stronger than I thought before kasi hmm. yung takot ko yung homesickness yung akala ko hindi ko kaya makihalubilo sa iba't ibang lahi na overcome kong lahat ng yun and then hmm. that made me realize and look up to myself you are strong. Yes. Hindi ka basta Sherwin lang. You are strong Sherwin. Mm-hmm. Parang, parang palagi lang din na naririnig ko at nababasa ko sa mm-hmm. book, always take risks. Yes. Take Kasi, risks. yeah, it will change your life. Like, exactly. Really, it will it will change your life. Parang, kung akala mo hanggang dyan ka lang, kasi hindi ka nagtatake ng risk. Yes, kasi pag takot ka. ka. Yes, takot ka. Pero yes. pag nagtake ka ng risk, you will find out na mm-hmm. mas marami ka pa palang kayang gawin at mas stronger ka pa sa mm-hmm. inaakala mong hanggang dun lang yung kaya mo. I like that mm-hmm. what makes us really strong is that mm-hmm. here abroad, we are given opportunities to actually explore what we can do. Mm-hmm. Kasi like, say for example, in the Philippines, that is our comfort zone. Yes. When we go through some problems, madaling tumawag ng kapamilya, kaibigan, Dito kapatid, tulungan mo ko. Yes. But in here, wala kang matatawagan yeah. agad-agad. You're all agad. alone. You're, you're on your own, you're all alone, yes. then you're stronger. Especially pag nagkasakit ka, yes. well, hindi naman ako sakitin, mm-hmm. okay. pero most of the time, pag, magka- mm-hmm. pag magkasakit ka talaga dito, you have to nurse yourself. Exactly. Yes. Nawanasan ko yan, ha? Oh. <laughs> Alam mo yung gumagapang ka sa kitchen kasi gagawa mo ng tinola yung yes. sarili mo kasi it will help you feel better. Wow. Ang pinaka mahirap na naging sakit ko lang dito, yung ubo at saka sipon, pag nagsabay yan, ah, okay. oh, headache. But so, you haven't had like an experience of flu. Trangkaso Hospital. No, hindi pa. Ah, hindi pa. I had so many instances yes. like so, that. So, sobrang, ano ko, medyo, mm. medyo, parang bantay sarado ako sa yes. kinakain ko, yeah. sa ginag ko. Pag alam kong sobrang puyat na, mm-hmm. next day, oh, babawi tayo ng tulog. Alam mo naman nasan kaya when I was new here? Mm-hmm. Uh, I used to, Okay, I don't know if it's safe to say this. I used to hang out with a certain group of uh, people mm-hmm. from work. And then when I got really sick, like really, really sick, mm-hmm. flu, I was at home alone and I sent them messages like, could you please come visit me? I need help. Mm-hmm. And then they said, um, sige, pag may time, dadaan kami sayo. And then, of course, everybody's online right now. I think it was New Year. I saw them partying New Year. <laughs> sa kapitbahay lang namin. Kapitbahay ko lang yung venue ng New Year. And sa next door, ako yung may sakit. So I messaged them, uwi na nasa party kayo, daanan niyo ako dito kasi sobrang uh, sama ng pakiramdam ko. Natapos ang night na yon na walang dumaan sa uh, uh, sa pinto ko while I was suffering there alone. Ha, yun yun sila nagpa-party. So, so mm-hmm. feeling ko, kaya ko pa ba? That made me really think, uh, ka, nangihina na ako eh, kakayanin ko pa ba? Hindi na. Hmm. So, nung hindi ko na kaya, doon naman ako nag-reach out sa isa pang grupo ng mga uh, kaibigan. Hmm. Sabi ko, can you come visit? Hmm. Yung akala ko mag-visit, hindi dumating. Yung first time kong message dumating. Oh. So, you, you are stronger. Yes. yes. You're, you're getting stronger and also you're getting the opportunity to know who are the people to count on to yes. that will make you even stronger. Hmm. Ganon. Ako naman, Hindi ko pa siya na-experience eh. Ah, good for you. I hope yes. you don't experience that. Siguro mabait ako, kaya oh. gano'n. So, hindi ko mabait. So, <laughs> no. I hope Hindi, sa akin don't. lang, kasi yung kadalasan kasi yung mga katrabaho ko, sila din yung kasama ko sa bahay. Oh, that's Although, good. Although, hindi ko na sila kasama sa room, mm-hmm. pero in one flat, like yes. three rooms, puro katrabaho ko din sila. Uh, di, magkakaiba lang kami oh, ng concept. Good. Which is good. Well, it's good for you kasi kapag mm-hmm. nagkasakit ka, nandyan lang sa isang flat yes. kayo. In my case kasi kami, ang accommodation namin, tagi-isang villa kami. Oh, yun lang. So, kung pag-isa ka Space. So, so yayamanin ka gano. <laughs> nasa ano, oh. nasa budget kasi <laughs> ng accommodation. So so kumbaga, 
Solong bahay kayo, may kanya-kanya kayong bahay. So if you ask people to come visit you, effort din naman na pumunta talaga sa iyo. Pero it, it's it's a sign of uh, strength na mm-hmm. hindi ka talaga ng tulong. Yes, Kasi even you know your limit na yes. parang hindi ko na kaya. I, yes. need, I need someone to help me out. Acknowledging your weakness yes. is a strength. Yes. So yun yung isa sa mga bagay talaga na kailangan mo ding pagtuunan mm. ng pansin na minsan may, may may iniisip ka na hindi mo kayang gawin. Mm-hmm. Hindi mo siya kayang gawin kasi iniisip mo na hindi na mo hindi kayang mo kaya. gawin. Yes. But when you change the way you think, yeah. then your life will become more different. It's all about your mindset, yes. right? It's what you feed in mm. in your brain mm. that makes you able or not able to do things. Yes, I I saw this uh, one entrepreneur uh, mm. UAE from UAE. She said that our brain is like a tofu. Whatever you put in it, I saw that yeah. as well. Whatever yes. you put in it, yes. that will be the flavor. Yes. So if you put on your on your on your brain, oh, everything was bec- will become positive and yes. will become more yes. exciting. That 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 will that will uh, true. Pa- parang yun yung makakasalubong yes. mo. Yun yung darating sa yon. True. So always choose ng mga inifid mo sa sarili mo sa sa utak mo. Anong take mo dito? Sa My you are final stronger take, than what really, you think. you are stronger than you think. Kasi, mm. may mga fears tayo that we can actually overcome mm. just by taking the first step. The key here is to get started. Kung takot ka and you're not getting started with things dahil takot ka, then nothing will ever happen to you. Mm. But once you get started, you decided to take the first step, that's when you realize things are possible. Yes. So, walang nakakatakot It's talaga. Start ka lang you talaga. are really strong. Yes. Ako naman, ang final take ko dito, you're stronger than what you think. Like what I am always saying na, simulan mo lang, simulan mo lang yung mga bagay na hindi mo pa nagagawa before. Minsan may mga ideas tayo na nasa utak natin na hindi natin magawa kasi pinipigilan tayo ng takot. Yes. Yeah. Pero kung pipiliin mo maging... Uh, maging strong at maging parang desidido dun sa pupuntahan mo na yan dun sa dun sa gusto mong gawin na yan hindi mo na lang mamamalay nandun ka na sabi mo ah kaya ko pala mm-hmm. so always always uh, parang parang papasok din always choose your your battle yes because you're stronger battle. than what you think yes and so, always choose to be strong hmm. it's a it's a hmm. choice right it's a choice it's yeah. always a choice minsan yeah. may mga bagay tayo na pasok din yung parang pag nagkamali ka yeah akala mo ang pangit ang pangit pag ikaw yung maghingi ng pasensya or ikaw yung ulit yung magsisimula pero mm-hmm. you are stronger yes. pag ginawa mo yun you are you are really stronger than you know what you think And this is our final take. So, tapos na tayo sa ating lesson for today. So, see you sa ating susunod na SSS episode. At uh, makakasama pa rin natin syempre sa ating uh, kaibigan Sherwin para sa ating uh, susunod na session. Yeah, see you guys. Yala. They have the bench. It's just that they don't have this, uh, yeah, so they have this uh, bench that you can uh, change from incline, decline to flat. And they have, what else they have in here? They have so much of motivational uh, machine in terms of cardio that you can choose from and they have all the weights that you needed for arms as well as they have the bench. It's just that they don't have this, uh, yeah, so they have this uh, bench that you can uh, change from incline, decline to flat and they